Reynold, uh, this is a little video on uh, how to convert your bike from a standard Reynolds um, drive chain to an X-Rim uh, drive chain. Um, you can do that just by putting the X-Rim on and uh, don't do anything, as quite a few do, uh, which is a bit risky. Um, when these were made, there was a lot of variations on the way the castings were done on the end of the gearbox, and that's the, the issue, uh, which I'll show you as we go along. Um, but converting to an x ring is not difficult. It's easier to do when you take the engine out to do a rebuild, much simpler. And once you've done it, it's brilliant. I've put an x ring on mine, and. Um, it's uh, brake horse is I think 150 horsepower and uh, this bike is about 50, 60, something like that with the new upgrades I've done on it. But it's not that much, but the chain itself is immense. Uh, I've had done over 5,000 miles with my X-Ring chain on my bike, on this bike, and I've never adjusted the chain since I put it on. There is, there is no chain stretch. That I've been able to find anywhere on the chain. Um, it's I've not adjusted the chain in, in any way, and in my money, that's pretty good. Uh, a normal Reynolds chain after 5,000 miles would be showing some sort of stretch. 10,000 miles, you'd definitely be having a lot of stretch and maybe even looking for a new chain. Uh, I think the longest I've ever got out of a, a Reynolds chain is about 12,000 miles. Uh, maybe some of you will get better. Uh, but it's all about how you ride the bike. Um, I don't push my bike too hard, uh, but 12,000 miles, in my opinion, from a chain is pretty poor uh, compared to what you get from such as your BMWs and your Suzukis and various other bikes. Um, so I put my X ring, I put an X ring on here, and uh, I've never looked back. So as far as I'm concerned, I can really recommend it. Anyway, here's the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Mostly all stills, because <laughs> it's all photographs, but anyway, hope you enjoy it. 